So you just said something profound, right? You said whatever makes you feel good, basically. Yeah. Talk, you know, talking about men and being metrosexual. What do you say to the people that always continually come at you for shit? I, I, I take, okay, it depends what time of the month it is. Because if I'm hormonal, <laughs> I'm going to let it really get to me. And if I'm not, fair, fair. then I actually find it so comical because it always will will stem from their own insecurities. So, or mm. they're just dumb or they're just straight up dumb. So people come at me all the time for my appearance and I get it. That's an easy target to, you know, if, if a woman looks different than she did seven years ago on your television screen, you're going to call it out. I don't know why, but women always need to comment on other women's looks. And it's really tough when you're being compared to Tasha and Michelle, these like two tall supermodels. And I'm like over here feeling like a toe. And then, it, <laughs> then they comment on your looks and it's like, you have to really be, you know, strong in who you are and confident to get through that because that would be very easy for me to be like, I am ugly next to them or like, mm. I do look old and I am much older than them. But I just, you know, again, depending on the time of the month, I just sometimes don't care. Oh, that's the answer, depending on the time of the month. How do you feel about, Jonah Hill just put out a statement saying, please don't speak to my body. He was very respectful with it. Just telling people to shut the hell up, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure if we were to interview every human on this earth right now, they're gonna say, bro, just, you know, treat people with respect, right? But yeah. then for whatever reason, a portion of those same people are the ones that talk the, sh the most shit. And you yeah. just said something that Brian and I always talk about. It seems like it's women coming after women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't see yeah. a man be like, you don't look like you did seven years ago. A man's gonna be like, damn, you look good. Or you don't look good. It's simple as that for a man. Or if they feel that way, they just wouldn't say it. Yeah, like yeah. what is that in, from a woman's perspective? Cause Brian and I, this conversation comes up so often. What is that from a woman's perspective? I don't know. I think it might be like also what society has done to us to feel pitted against each other for a long time. And I feel like that's kind of like they might have been raised that way. Their mom might have taught them that. It's like, I don't know. It's always just been, you know what I saw something really cool is a girl was commenting back. She made a video back to um, someone had said, all you're obsessed with is yourself. And she did the greatest like one minute video saying like, what if I was like, why have we, why are we in a world where like loving yourself is so like frowned upon? And she goes, and if I was obsessed with myself, like that would have saved my parents a lot of money for me going to rehab from being so insecure mm. and having an eating disorder. And like, I wish I was obsessed with myself and that would make this a lot easier. And she got into like this really deep minute video of it. Yeah. And I was like, that's so true. Who cares if you're obsessed with yourself? Like, it's like, are you, are you going to be obsessed about me? I mean, right? apparently you are, but like, are you really like in the real but world going to be obsessed about me? No. So like, why right? not show myself self-love? Right. It's, it is. It's, and it, I, that really stood out to me. Cause I'm like, yeah, you're allowed to be obsessed with yourself. Like why not feel yourself and think you look good and post when you do feel good. And I understand that people were annoyed at me the other day because <laughs> Roman, come here. Oh, that's Pino. You never bark. Um, I I kind of get why people came after me in my post because um, I did have like a filter on and so much glam and my like, you know, in all these filters that are on Instagram, it's like enhancing every part of your face. And I get that that's annoying because to see that constantly on your feed, you're like, I just want some real shit. But I show up on social media real all the time. Yeah. And so that one time I'm like, I like to throw in a filter every now and again, or I like to, I was like, Oh, this is some good glam post it. Like, I hate when people are like, Oh my God, why are you doing this to the younger generation? I'm like, if, if you follow me, you know, that I show up real and authentic and like vulnerable on my social media pages all the time. Don't come at me for one post. Now that's the funny part about it, right? You could do a hundred things good, or you could do 99 things good. But that one thing that you do that, that's all they remember, you know, it's, it's all the time. And it's kind of like us too. Like, it'll be like, there's like 300 nice comments. And like, then I just saw the, you know, yeah. and, and those are the ones we talked about. The one like, that bothers you. Yeah. Yeah.